Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com back here again. Uh, continuing on on my summer uh, repair maintenance series. Going to tackle the job of, uh, of uh, strengthening these uh, fenders. I've had a little problem with the plastic fenders that go on the side of the, the RV above the wheels there. They're starting to crack in spots. Uh, you can see here's a particularly bad one. There's a little crack there, and eventually they're going to all crack, and the, the thing's going to catch in the wind and come off. So I was talking to a guy who emailed me. He gave me a tip on these. You can see how they they're kind of not flush, so they sit down a bit. He says uh, that's probably why they're they're cracking, and he suggested maybe to put a a washer, kind of give it a spacer in there. So what I'm going to do is I picked up a bunch of just galvanized washers and I'm going to mount them with uh, that Cicaflex 291 sealant, marine sealant that I used on my uh, slide repair. So I'm going to mount the, the washers with that and then coat all around the, the plastic on the back with that uh, Cicaflex. Once it sets up it should be pretty strong. And on the other side when the screws go in I'm going to put in some uh, rubber grommets so they won't be flush against the plastic. So first things first is to clean up all the, the insides there so I have a nice surface for that uh, sealant and get a good chance to clean up behind the, the fender on the rig there. Okay, I've got things cleaned up. A little bit of a simple green and a sponge and a hose. Got them all cleaned up, so the next thing is I'll uh, get that Cicaflex going on there. Nice day today. Wow, quite the cloud action going on right now. Huh. Anyway, I got the sealant on. That tube was not going to last. It was going to harden so I thought I'd put a good uh, good donut around each of those. Put that washer on top. So now I just have to uh, let that all set up. Should be able to reattach her again. Stay tuned. I just wanted to follow up on my previous repair video where I uh, stiffened up my uh, shelf in my storage bay. There was quite a bit of concern that the bolts might pop through the bottom so I've taken some advice that people handed out and uh, added some uh, big flat washers to the to the bolts. Thanks for all the advice and uh, suggestions. Much appreciated. Okay, so I've left that overnight, let the Sika Flex all stiffen up. And I'm going to remount it on the side of the, the Cougar. I'm also going to put a rubber grommet on the screw. There we go. All sewed up. Feeling pretty strong again. Hopefully I'll get another uh, few years out of that. Still in pretty good shape actually. It's just those where the screws went in on the indent there, they were starting to crack. But now with those washers it sits out a little bit. So it's not going to put some stress when the, when the screws are in there also ran a, a little bead of uh, clear silicone along the top just to, to seal out any water from getting back in there. What do you want? Time to go in and get a cookie. So another repair in the bag and Angie approved. Um, so stay tuned to be uh, repairing some other things this summer. Um, one other thing, if you have a fender and it's totally damaged beyond repair, 
A uh, commenter in, on my last video recommended a site called Icon Direct. So thanks to Thunderbird97 for that. That'll come in handy. Looks like a really good site. They even, even can get custom made uh, fenders. Until next time, Bray from Love RV. Cheers, everyone.